In Foodie's latest vlog, she took us along to the city center for some mall Chinese food. Let's take a look and see what she got. We decided to try this Italian restaurant that didn't serve Italian food. At this point, I'm slowing it down a little bit to show you something. Take a look at just how many salad and vegetable options there are. It's kind of funny how none of them made it to her plate, don't you think? So for my meal, I had mall Chinese food. Spicy potatoes, chow mein, spicy chicken, a pomegranate soda, and some a side of grape leaves. And of course, uh, they give you some dates to break your fast with, and a ice cold bottle of water. I can't wait to drink that, let me tell you. So yeah, Italian restaurant that serves um, mall Chinese. And Salah opted for the chicken, like I had, some pasta bechamel, and some rice, and a orange Kinza drink, and water of course as well. One of the funniest, most talked about things in this video is Foodie's judicious use of filters. Take a look at how stretched out that takeout box is. It had the same effect on the grape leaves. The box is stretched out and look at how long and thin they are. Seriously, foodie, who do you think you're fooling with all of this? Now, because she got the food from a small local place, I used an American chain to estimate the macros. The nutritional information is for similar items from Panda Express. The grape leaves are from Nutritionix, and the soda is directly from the manufacturer. As always, if you think my quantity estimates are off, feel free to extrapolate based on the data given. When you add up all of the components of this meal, this is what you get. 1,915 calories, 77 grams of fat, 3,346 milligrams of sodium, 274 grams of carbs, 98 grams of which are sugar, and 63 grams of protein. Honestly, at this point, I just don't understand the decisions that Foodie makes when it comes to her meals. While Salah was putting the groceries in the car, she could have easily looked this all up for herself. And instead of a double portion of noodles, she could have devoted a quarter of the box to salad or maybe some vegetables. Anyway, drop me a line and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you.